Okay, this next segment is going to be a little harder to explain. I mean, only because there's so much to say. It starts at... Um, verse 36. Well, um, yeah. It starts at verse 36 and goes through verse 44. And if you were to go to, and it'll be in the video description, the unknown, the no may known uh, site in Frank Forum where he did the reparsing of the uh, meter here. You'll find out that, um, well, I'm sorry, it starts uh, at verse 36. Wait a minute, let me go find out. Yeah, it starts at verse 36. From verse 36 to verse 44, he parsed it. And it was four, 308 syllables. Now, because he's familiar with the stuff that I've done, but you might not be, I have to go through why that's important. Okay, so he's saying verse 36, and you can proof it by looking at the syllable counts in the Greek. Through verse 44 is 308 syllables in the Greek. Now, why does that matter? Here's why. I did a whole channel on this, the NOAA channel in Vimeo. This is the central document for it. And you can download it. It'll be in the video description. NOAA, if you back into the math of Genesis 7 and 8, which is what this does, is this... This uses the actual verses in Genesis and, you know, uses the math. And you can back into it to find out how long he was in the boat because sometimes the Hebrew text is not good. Um, you can find out how long he was in the boat and therefore when his birthday was. Okay, now there's a guy named Jack P. Lewis who wrote a whole dissertation on this uh, about the flood, the flood chronology. And in the Noah channel in Vimeo, I gave you a link to that. I have his book. I bought his book. It's a dissertation about it. It doesn't really conclude anything important. Except that it does do a survey of what people thought at the time of the change in the Jewish calendar due to Noah. Okay? The calendar changed to the sacred year due to Noah. Okay? And when you back into the math, you realize, oh, Noah's birthday is on what we now call Passover. So Noah is the precedence for the sacred calendar of Israel. Noah is the precedence for, you know, Christ, the prophet, the whole prophecy of Passover, being Christ dying on the cross on Passover, which he really did. Okay, 1,400 years, 1,470 years later to the very day that Israel exited uh, Egypt. All right. That was also precedented on Noah. And that matters a whole bunch because what Christ is talking about here is, you know, look. All right. Of that day and hour, nobody knows. Okay. Nor the son. He's talking about his humanity there. Okay. Obviously, as God, he knows but he's not looking at his deity, so he doesn't know as human, in the days of Noah. So for this to be meter based on Noah's own timeline in Genesis is something you would know if you were speaking Greek and listening to Christ at the time because you remembered scripture by meter counts. But today we don't do that. Today, we are vile and we spit on scripture every chance we get. And we're trying to give to Caesar what belongs to God. So we don't know Bible at all. So we don't understand the meter of this at all. The meter is based on the timing of Noah. That Christ is actually talking to his own people off the top of his head. Knowing the meter of Noah himself, obviously. And expecting them to know it too. So what is that meter? Well, it's the whole chronology of Noah, okay? 
the whole chronology of Noah. Noah was born on what would become Hanukkah, uh, what would become Passover. Christ is scheduled to die on Passover per Exodus 12. He's the lamb without spot and blemish who set aside on, you know, what was really fake Passover. And then on real Passover, he ends up dying for our sins on the 14th day of Nisan. Okay, that was Noah's birthday. So Noah's birthday occurs first. But 57 days later, 57 days later, he goes into the boat. So what that ends up look, be meaning, and you have to download this to see it, Noah was in the boat. What's, what's the problem here with the... Okay, what is the problem? There we go. Noah was in the boat 365 days, as you'd see if you downloaded this and you vetted all the verses and stuff. Okay, 57 days prior to that was his birthday. He's entering, in effect, on Pentecost. He's entering the boat. So he's in the boat until his next birthday, 308 days. And then when his birthday occurs, God still tells him to stay in the boat. Okay, God still tells him to stay in the boat. Okay, see here's 308. That's his next birthday. But God tells him to keep on staying in the boat while the water, while the ground dries. And he leaves on the equivalent of Pentecost. So he goes into the boat on Pentecost, the equivalent of what will later be Pentecost, and he and he leaves the boat on the equivalent of Pentecost. Okay? But relative to his birthday when he entered, he was it's 308 days. Okay? So Christ is playing on Pentecost, on the sacred calendar, on Noah, on Genesis 7 and Genesis 8. In addition to everything else he's playing on in Daniel, Isaiah, Psalm 90, and Genesis 1. All at the same time by using the 308. Now Paul will do the same thing in Ephesians 1, 3-14. I've already done the videos on that in Vimeo. It's the GGS 11, Paul Meter GGS 11 channel. Of course, Christ is God, so he's that smart that he could just talk off the top of his head and make it equal to 308 by the time he gets to verse 44, which you see highlighted down here in blue. See? You must also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour when you, not, you do not think. In other words, Noah had to go into the boat when God told him. Noah didn't know what day he was going to go in. His birthday was on what we call Passover. But God didn't tell him to go into the boat until 57 days later. And in those days, there was no Pentecost. Noah is the precedence for Pentecost. Pentecost is the gathering of the crops, the fruit. You are the fruit, not what you do. Okay? So Christ is explaining that here. And that's what the 308 means. Now the next question about this 308, and I don't know the answer to it yet, is why is it 308 for church? What does that mean for church? I know part of the answer, but I don't know all of it. So I'll have to cover that in the next increment. 